Hey guys. <laughs> I am cleaning my room. No, you're not. You're making a video. I am making a video. I was cleaning my room, but I'm kind of going stir crazy, <laughs> like mommy stir crazy, and I don't have anybody to talk to right now. And so, um, I want to make a video, but I don't know what I'm going to make a video about because I don't have anything set. I don't have an idea and I don't have anything like, um, um, prepared or planned. I just want to make a video. So, I'm cleaning my room. Oh, guess what? You're on the tripod. I actually, I found my tripod clip. Um, in my car and I knew it was in my car, but I never could find it in my car because the car was such a mess and so um, I Finally I had it one day I wanted to make a video and I got my tripod out and I was looking for my clip and I couldn't find my clip So I was like it has to be out in the car. I'm going out and I'm cleaning the car out so I went out with a trash bag and I was throwing trash away and making a pile of stuff that goes inside that doesn't belong in the house and I wasn't finding it and I'm like oh my gosh it's lost forever and um finally like I couldn't get the front we have we have cup holders that come like out of the dashboard like you know you have the radio and then like the air controls and then we have cup holders that you like pull out of the dashboard. And in there I keep junk and my coin cup. It's like a little Orbitz gum cup, you know, that they do. But I peeled the label off of it and now it's just a plastic cup for our change. Because with all of the bells and whistles that my van has, it doesn't have any place to put change. I think there's like three little indents in that cup holder for change and you can't fit anything in it so I've got a cup I keep doing stuff down here but you're too close I've got a cup in that cup holder and I remember like I picked that cup because it fit in the cup holder and I could close the cup holder and open the cup holder and close the cup holder and open the cup holder and it just stopped working and like I couldn't get the cup holder in so I picked up the change cup and ta-da my tripod clip was sitting there or attachment or whatever you call it so I found it and now you're on the tripod and I can use my hands to talk or brush my teeth which is why I needed the tri -clip, tripod clip in the first place um I, I was cleaning my room I will unclip you and show you what I've got done which isn't very much well I might unclip you um, so I still have to do that. I just charged this battery and it's already half gone. I still gotta go through this basket. It's like vitamins and meds and, um, I, looks like there's some yarn and some pens and some clips that aren't mine and stuff like that. So I've gotta go through that basket. I've gotta clean all that junk up. I've gotta clean, like, organize this stuff. I've got too many lotions and a couple, you know, private things and, and then... That pile is stuff that I need to read and then put away or throw away in the pacifier and baby shoes that obviously didn't get put away and then crocheting and that book I have to read. <laughs> Sorry, Laura, if you watch this, it's on the floor. Um, it's the VBS snack book. It's the VBS snack book because I'm doing snacks for VBS and so she gave it to me for ideas. Oh, and then the yarn. My bed's my Sorry. Uh, I have to ball up all that yarn and put it away. And I was starting on my dresser, empty oil bottles. Well, no, this one's not empty. No, see, you can tell that one still has like a lot in it, so it needs to be put away. That's empty. I don't know where the bottle to that cap is. <laughs> they need to be boiled and cleaned out so I can reuse them. Music goes back to the church. I folded a bunch of socks. I just can't. Well, I guess I could put mine and John's away. But I can't put the kids' socks away because they're all in bed. And then those are all the socks that don't have matches. Because laundry sucks. And then that's like my Ninja Nitros, another box of Slim Caps, and my box of 
See, this is how I keep them, guys. Ning's Red, right here. I just grab that, shake it, and down it. Best stuff ever. I really like it, actually. In, like, the two ounces. I don't think I could do more than two ounces. And my candle. Don't judge me about how safe that is. This needs to go downstairs, and I have this whole pile of... Don't look back there. <laughs> That's where I keep my zoo cups. <laughs> um, candy canes that I just found... I think on top of John's dresser, and I need to, I think I'm going to put them in my purse so that when the kids are getting rowdy, I can be like, here, have a candy cane, uh, mail and bills and such that I need to <clears throat> sort and file. Those, <laughs> these are our zoo cups, and our zoo has this thing at one of the cafes. I think it's the Grizzly Grill or something. You buy this reusable cup, and this one I think is like five or six dollars the first time, but you buy it, and then as long as the cup lasts, you can take it back to the zoo, take it back to that cafe, and refill it for free as long as you have the cup and it lasts. And then I just bought these two, they were like two dollars. But there's two of them, um, they have like animals on them. For the kids, because it's the same deal, that if they, every time they take these back to that cafe in the zoo, they'll get free refills also for the life of the cup. So I think that's pretty cool. And we always like go get our pop and then walk around the zoo. Those need to be put away in the closet. Um, I've got to empty the trash and put those are John's they need a button I have to put a button on them that's a box that shoe box I'm gonna put um, knitting needles knitting markers all knitting all crochet like tools in that box those are his new work boots but he hasn't taken them out of the box yet he hasn't worn them I don't think he's worn them oh no he took them with him this week so that box needs to probably be thrown away if they work and he doesn't have to return them that's his Air Force bag, work stuff. <laughs> Don't even look at that, no. Um, yarn, those are my two yarn boxes. So all the yarn is like in there. Well, the yarn that's not on my bed. And then the lid, I have to ball all the yarn that's on the lid that you can't see because it's under towels that have to be put away. And his camel back from the Air Force. <laughs> and then I did his, um, his dresser. I cleaned off and I've got candles going. And his nightstand I cleaned off and dusted. So his side actually looks better than my side right now. <laughs> and laundry to fold, but I hate folding laundry. So, see, and that's my, I don't know why I hold you up so high. That's my, um, I almost said garage. Hello, my closet. Because my the closet doors are all mirrored. So, That's what I was doing, and then I was like, I gotta make a video, and I don't know why. Um, I don't really need my neck done, but my husband isn't home. He doesn't get home until Friday, and then he works Saturday and Sunday again. So I haven't seen him in like, I won't have seen him in like two weeks, a week and a half, something like that. And I did, that's not fair, I did see him last week, but it was like after he came home and he was tired and we didn't do anything. Oh my gosh, I need my neck done. Um, I was, I was going to do a Fifty Shades video, like a little discussion video. I still might, but I'm so like, about it that I just, I think I would get angry and it would turn into a rant and it's not what you think. It was going to be like four Fifty Shades of Grey. I just, I understand people don't get it. And I understand like it's erotica. So, I don't know. You don't want your teenagers reading it. But I don't even know if I would, well, I would care. I would care. But, um. But anyway, it was just going to be like, 
I get so tired of seeing all the Facebook stuff from like the mommy bloggers about how horrible it is and it like promotes sexual violence and promotes rape and whatever and my aunt like commented on a link and then shared that link for that article and it was that gist of sexual violence and rape and all that and I just got like no it's not so anyway I might still but tonight I would like be ranting about it but um I will say this as kind of like a statement for now I have read all three books and by read I mean listened to <laughs> on my overdrive app because I it's hard for me to sit down with a physical book and read but like I can listen to it doing other things like folding laundry or cleaning my room or whatever so I have listened to all three books I am planning on someday eventually seeing the movie and I personally don't think, okay, as a Christian, Bible-believing, God-fearing, church-attending, Christian mother and wife, I do not believe that Fifty Shades of Grey promotes sexual violence and rape and humiliation and all of that stuff. There's my statement. I think, I think it, you know, it's erotica. And in the first book, there's sex, <laughs> like, every five pages. And I was actually getting kind of tired of it. Like, can we do a, like, shortened version <laughs> without all the sex? Um, and listening to it, like, I finally got to where, like, in the second and third book, it really dwindles down in the second and third book it's not like every five pages they're going at it it's it gets it really dwindles down and it's not as like um detailed I guess is in the first book but in the first book she really liked her love scenes um so but I got to where I would hit my skip button until they were done <laughs> isn't that awful so but it's, it's not, it's not, it, every time Christian wants to do something, um, he asks her if it's okay, and he, like, double, triple, quadruple asks her if it's okay, and she has a safe word, and he, like, educated her beforehand on what was happening, like, if he was gonna flog her, or... Like, he explained the stuff to her. He took her into his red room of pain, his playroom, and, like, explained it to her. And she was totally on board. But then, like, you know, and then the one time, the one time that he hurt her, it was a miscommunication. And no matter if you're in a vanilla relationship or a BDSM relationship, there's going to be miscommunications and there's going to be accidents. And it was a miscommunication and it broke his heart. It broke her heart. You know, they broke up. Spoiler alert, I don't care. Um, but they learned from it and it never happened again. So, um, and honestly, like, it's funny because all of the vanilla people are like pushing that it's horrible and that it's the most horrible BDSM they've ever heard of and that it's sexually violent and rape and all this stuff. And then the BDSM people are like, what is this crap? Because honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I'm letting on too much here but what Christian Grey 
does in his playroom is pretty like mild especially the things that he does with Anna like he even he even removes toys he even takes things away that she says that will never happen to me you're never gonna use that on me we're never gonna do that he's very conscious of her limits and of what she says no to so she's allowed to say no it's not like she didn't have any say at all. She's allowed to say no. She had her own opinion. She ended up not being his sub ever because she was not a submissive. She ended up being his girlfriend. Like, it's just, it's not sexually violent. She said yes to everything. He explained everything. And most of what they do is like, doesn't even hit a four or a five on the BDSM scale of one to ten. Honestly, it's very mild. There's so much like worse out there that, that they could have been doing that you all should be worried about more. So all of like the kinksters and the fetish people and the BDSM people are like, that's stupid. <laughs> like it's a total fairy tale. I guess it started out as... Oh, I'm gonna lose my battery. I guess it started out as a fan fiction and it just kind of evolved. So, but honestly, the poor author went on Google, typed in BDSM, and copy and pasted the first five things that came up. And she had no idea what she was talking about. She had no idea how to properly convey most of the BDSM that they did. Um, and like the whole contract, like she goes through and she reads, like they read out the whole contract and I swear it was copy and pasted off the internet. It was just awful. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, <laughs> I do not believe it promotes sexual violence or rape. I think it's a fairy tale erotica. And people really, 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 really need to expend their energy on other things, okay? Because Fifty Shades is not worth the energy that everyone is putting into it. Um, what else? I'm thinking of doing... My Young Living... But the problem is, is that, like, every time I start thinking of products we use on a daily or weekly basis, I'm like, it's going to be like a three-part video because we each, I use different things, John uses different things, the kids use different things, and then I use different things around the house, and it's like, it would take forever. And then I think, like, I need to have, like, the proper things to read and to be able to tell you about the products and, and the info and then the editing and I just, I think like my brain turns into a tornado when I start thinking about that video. I'm going to do some tags eventually. There's a, Nancy did a tag that I would like to do so I'm going to do that eventually. Um, I think tonight though I'm going to work on my basket and my dresser and this yarn. And maybe I'll go deeper into the Fifty Shades. I don't know. I think that's a very touchy to that's a very touchy topic, um, and it just it could like escalate. But I really, I really would like to. Um, I'm very. Oh, I don't know. I'm very open, like I don't bring it up or anything, but if someone was to bring it up or like talking on video about BDSM or kinky things or just like sex advice in general, I'm not really shy of the human body, I'm not really shy of sex, um, I am not super knowledgeable in BDSM. <laughs> But I know some stuff. 
So, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, I would not consider myself an expert at all. But maybe that would be fun to get into some, you know, discussions like that. Maybe I will probably lose subscribers over it and lose future subscribers over it because they're going to go through and, you know, be like, sinner, sinner. So I don't know. But we'll see. But I'm going to finish cleaning and then I'm listening. Nope. I'm not going to ramble. I am going to go clean and I'll make another video some other day. Thank you for putting up with me this far. I miss making videos, so I hope to get back into it. I think it's what helps keep me sane. I don't know. But I'll see you later. Bye.